Well, it's daytime now. It's actually 12.40. I've been awake since 10.30. Thought I'd let the camera fully charge before I uh, did anything. Um, the first person to turn up to look at the girls' bike didn't want it. I said the wheel bearings were knackered when I know for a fact they're not. A little bit loose, yeah, but very... A smidge loose, you wouldn't even friggin' notice it. I didn't even notice it. But they're not knackered, they just need tightening up, which I've done. You know, a couple of spanners, one on either side of the axle, and tighten them up. Easy. But, uh, he did see one of those sort of tar kicker types. But, any time between now and whenever, well, she said within the next hour, I've got another one coming to look at it. Fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I fixed a mud guard on my little um, French bike. It was rattling around because there was a. What had happened? The mud guard stay where it bolts to the mud guard. And actually, the bolt had gone through the mud guard, so it's just rattling around. So. Easy fix for that was was just a couple of large washers. So that's fixed. No more rattle. Although I did break a brake block in the process. So I got to replace that. <laughs> I thought a bit of brute force to get the wheel back in would be the answer, but I ripped off one of the rubber blocks. <laughs> So it didn't quite work. <laughs> oh well. Blah. Right. As far as I know, I've still got someone turning up at about three to look at the gents one. something with this PC case oh, and I found the cover for the other one and I'm tempted really tempted actually to sell that shopper at the front there but I don't know I could sell it for a tenner of spares or repairs because uh, it has got a slow puncture in the front tire a very slow one, but a slow one. Uh, and the back wheel's got a slight buckle to it where that spoke decided to ping on me. But I don't know. I don't know, if I... I don't know whether to keep it or sell it, because I've got that German one sitting up here, haven't I? Which um, would probably have a bit more desirability than that bloody universal brand out there. Although it does ride, everything works. Brakes work, gears work. You can just feel a wobble from the back wheel where um, it's got, you know, misaligned when that spoke snapped. Really, if I could find a wheel, I need to get to Biggles before he chops the hubs out of the wheels, actually. That would be useful. Because he just chops the spokes. So if I can actually get to a wheel before he does that, um, then I could salvage a bunch of spokes. Uh, but the problem is he's, in the last sort of couple of months, he's broken up two or three shoppers, and every time I've been too late to get to the back wheel. <laughs> so I could keep hold of it. I mean, it's not going to do any harm being locked up out front there. And the mountain bike is out back, just in case you're wondering. So I'm just sitting here drinking cola, waiting for my door buzzer to ring. Uh, she said she's only on in town, not far from here actually, so... I've been outside but I haven't heard any door buzzers ring. Okay. 
click the link. Hey viewers! Oops. <laughs> Pause it. Ooh. They look very similar. They're not exactly the same, but there's a similar version to what I've got on my Grey Claude. Bought them used on eBay. They look like brand new. Well, that's the type of shifter I like. I do like the trigger shifters. Well, they're Shimano EF 51s. He's just showing how to change a gear cable on him. Pretty easy. In fact, that might be the ones. No. I thought they were the ones I got on the giant over here, but they're not. I've just realised. The um, gear indicator to indicate what gear you're in is different. What's the bet? I'll go pack my ass on that toilet and that door buzzer will ring. Ooh, the dash cam footage group is, has been rather busy lately. Other than that, there's nothing going on on Facebook. <laughs> Not to chat about anyway. Da, 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 da. Mystery of the woman who is probably probably one of your mutual friends on Facebook. And that's a daily daily mail one. Daily Mail article. Jesus, I've got bushy eyebrows. Or at least they look bushy on the camera anyway. If you've been on Facebook lately, you may recognise this woman who has multiple accounts and is befriending strangers around the world. More than 30... Eh, try again. More than 30 separate profiles exist for Madhu Shah who is not believed to be a real person, all with a profile picture featuring the same woman. A number of people have taken to social media to warn others about the bogus user, calling it a scam. One Facebooker, Pawan, 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 Mang Nani, said that he had more than 150 mutual friends with Madhu over four years, but after checking with his friends, he discovered that none of them actually knew who she was. Pawan wrote, Warning, do not take you. Someone had to initiate this. I've done thorough research on this scary issue all week and posting this now for everyone's benefit. Some have about ha, some uh, some even have about 500 mutual friends with zero idea on the true identity. It happens all the time. That is one reason I'm a little sceptical on who I add. And I will always check their profiles before I add them. Unless it's a name I recognise. If it's a name I recognise, then I don't bother. Oh well. Just got to be careful, haven't you? But according to the article, I can't see the point in what this person is doing because there was no mention of these accounts 
trying to sell you anything or, you know, trying to get you to take out a fake loan or buy some fake goods or anything like that. No mention of that. It just seems that this person is going around on multiple accounts adding random people as friends. I'm not sure what the point is. Um... This seems a little weird to me. Usually when you get these fake accounts add you, they're trying to um, get you to buy something or take out a fake loan or, you know, some obvious scam. Well, not obvious to some people because they fall for it, but... <laughs> I've, been ar I've been around on the internet a long time. It takes a lot to um, fool me. That's probably why I'm so sceptical, actually. I'm very sceptical of what I see on Facebook as well. Right, so once this person has been for the bike, if they even come for the bike, that is, I suppose I better put that PC in place out of the way. I'll put the monitor up. I've got a tyre in here that can go in the cupboard. Inner tubes to go in the cupboard, wheel to go down, empty bottles of Corolla from assholes to Timbuktu. In fact, I don't see one, two, three, four, five, six. Not that I drink a lot of coke. But I might add that's not all from like the last couple of days. That's pretty much the last week ish. Or if I'm really honest, probably about half a week. <laughs> Still isn't good, I suppose. Hey, but people smoke, people drink booze, people do all sorts. I drink cola. Right. One of my regular posters is busy on my old trucks and lorries group as well. I'm going to disappear before I ramble on too much. <laughs> so, uh, talk to you all later on today. Right. This is my third attempt. I keep trying to keep my sections of video as short as possible. So, the lady's bike eventually sold. First person, as I said, was a bit of a tyre kicker. Um, I'd rather people were just honestly saying, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Sorry to trouble you, blah blah blah, but some people are just like that and they've got to look for an excuse not to have it. But never mind. Um, and I think the guy that looked at the gents bike this afternoon was a bit of the same, but I won't get into that. Uh, but another lady messaged me on through Gumtree and literally sort of like 10 minutes later picked up the lady's bike, so that's gone. And uh, I've just been messaging to and throw with someone else with the gents rally and they're coming in 10 to 15 minutes to pick it up so agreed on a price of 20 is not really what I wanted for it but if it gets out of my hair I'm not going to complain they're both technically free bikes so the ladies one what did I do I just cleaned it up didn't I that's it gave it a clean Woo. <laughs> so yeah I'm off to mum's tomorrow, don't know what time. Stepdad's a bit poorly at the minute. Apparently, I think she said the left side of his face is all swollen and it's very sore and he's finding it hard to eat and whatnot. So, they're not sure if it's a tooth causing a problem, which it might be, or if there's something else. But he said it's going into his neck and he may have trapped a nerve, I don't know, but really if he trapped a nerve he wouldn't have a swollen face. I know when I was younger I had a condition called Bell's Palsy which affected the left side of my face. I'm spitting all over the screen. 
and what that is, it's basically a motor neuron nerve condition which can be brought on by stress. Um, it stopped working basically, so none of the muscles on this side of the face was operation, operating um, or working, whatever you want to call it. So when I blinked, I did this. Couldn't blink with the left eye. I could close it, oddly enough, like that, but it wouldn't blink. I don't understand how that worked, but <laughs> you'd have thought if you could close your eye, you could blink, but because you'd have thought that you know that's the same nerve, but I guess not. <laughs> Um, and of course that caused this side of my face to also sag like that, so I was talking out the corner of my mouth all the time. Um, and eventually, because the muscles wouldn't move, because obviously I had no nerve that was working to control them, I started to get a hell of a lot of pain. I think I went to the doctors at least twice and tried different, but I actually tried painkillers that big, I shit you not, that you dissolved in water, tasted Fucking revolting, but my god, did that work quick! 15 minutes later, pain. What pain? <laughs> that was brilliant stuff. I can't remember what it was called now, but yeah, tasted like shit, but definitely did the job. And I was like that for months. That's what it works now, as you can see. Look, I can blink. <laughs> yeah, I, th I must have been in my early teens when that did that. Oh, that was horrible. So I'm actually wondering if maybe he's got something similar through stress. It's possible, but let's see what the doctor says. Well, I should actually be home, but Mum's going to ring me later tonight anyway. Um, will I go to the recycle centre tomorrow? Probably. See what's up there. See if I can find at least another one. Uh, Mum owes me nine quid because I went to um, the charity shop and just picked her shirt and jeans up for her. So, uh, whenever she's able to pay that back, I don't mind. Or she can keep it and just buy me some groceries during the week, it's up to her. <laughs> Either way, one way or another, I get it back. <laughs> um... I've actually been toying with the idea as I've got two folding bikes. Whether to get rid of my universal one out there or not. It rides. It's rideable now. It's just got a very slow puncture in that front wheel. And the back wheel's got a slight buckle to it because um, of that spoke that pinged on me. I could fix it. Well, if I can... Um, catch Biggles before he dismantles the bloody wheels because um, as I've said before he likes to uh, sell bike parts and uh, especially the old three-speed wheel hubs because they can go for anything between 15 and 25 pounds on eBay so as soon as he gets a three-speed bike like that it's pretty much snip 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 with all the spokes clean the hub up and put it on um, eBay uh, so I've actually missed I think twice recently where he's had shopper bikes in and chopped the spokes out of the wheels. And I'm like, bastard, I need the spokes. Will you stop doing that? <laughs> I need to get I need to catch him when he's got one there that he hasn't started to um, dismantle yet. So I'm just say, oi, do you mind if I take that wheel out of there and just salvage a few spokes before you cut the hub out? <laughs> Cause uh I need one. Or I need some. Because then I could fix it and I'll have a nice riding bike again. I'll be there in 10 15 minutes. Okay, thank you. Right, well, I'm going to shut the camera down while I wait for them because I'm dying for a piss as well. Uh, yeah, so um, I'll talk to you in a little while. Despite it being dull outside, it's actually still quite warm. I've got my t-shirt off because I'm warm. I've actually just been sitting at the PC and I am actually um, getting a bit sticky. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to get a bath now or zip across to Lidl 
first because I have just drank the last bottle of cola. Uh, I suppose I should go across to Little first. Um, that's the next bike gone. Uh, I think I'm out of stock now. Uh, yeah, I think I will buzz off if mum lets me, of course, because keeping in mind stepdad's not very well at the moment, so if mum is able and willing, or willing and able, I'll um, stop off at the dump and see if there's one or two there I can pick up. You never know. Or I could just say fuck it and just wait until Thursday or next weekend when I've got a bit more cash, I don't know. I don't suppose it matters, because I can only get a maximum of three in the car anyway. So it wouldn't matter how much, how much cash I have, I could only buy three. <laughs> That's a bit of a bastard, but never mind. Right. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to put my shirt back on, zip across the little, get the few bits that I want. Come back, lock the bikes up, and uh, speaking of bikes, I've got one more job to do on my French bike on the Moto B can. I'm going to rewire the um, dynamo lights. Uh, they work, but they're dim, and that indicates there's a bad earth somewhere, so... And looking at the wiring, it is the original wiring, you know, I just stuck, there was no dynamo on the bike when I got it, so I stuck one on. Using the existing wiring that's there, and uh, yeah, they're a bit dim. Not stupidly dim, but still dim. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, one day... It's not a priority because, you know, the, it's staying lighter for longer. It's, you know, summer season. But uh, I will uh, get them rewired. Which means taking that bloody wheel out again. <laughs> Mind you, as I've broken the brake block, I'd be better off doing that now before I repair the brake block. Otherwise, I might do it again. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, even the lights on a French Subite, I presume would be the rough French pronunciation. And I can see a putty cat. Here it is. I'll zoom in on him. He's right by that tall chimney stack. See him? Smile. I have seen him on the car park, and as that window is open behind him, I'm assuming that's where he lives. Excuse me. He's um quite a timid thing, or she could even be a she. I don't know. I've not studied its genitalia. <laughs> a couple of pigeons on the wall down here. Right, I suppose I better get my arse into gear and uh, get a few jobs done. <sighs> if they came out of the bark, out of the bark, after the bike sooner, I could have ran down to Wilco and just grabbed some bearings for that and at least got that job done out of the way. Because, uh, well, this is complete, apart from the handlebar grips. Uh, well, if I get the chain back on it, and the dralias and the crank and everything, then that would, and I'll do the same with the um, clawed butt, and they both pretty much be at the same point in their refurbishment. Well, actually, the clawed butt is a build because I built that from scratch. Uh, 
which is out on the land, and I may drag it in here and get them bloody other bits on it ready. I just hope that chain fit. If not, I've got one more in the lounge to try. I suppose I better take that to Mum's tomorrow as well, because I am getting low on shirts and things. Although I could go shopping Thursday and see if I can buy some. I've not seen any jeans. Every time I go in with Mum, I look for jeans, because that's what I need the most. I keep forgetting to take them two pairs in to donate as well. Anyway, I'm going to disappear. Uh, I suppose I could clean that bottom bracket out and put a bit of tape on the end of the um, axle so I know which way round it's got to go in because I often forget. Uh... Yes, something tells me they just greased the bearings and didn't replace them because I've had a chunk, a chunk Look at this. A chunk of cage. <laughs> There's no way a brand new set of bearings would have done that. They didn't replace them. Whoever had that part just greased them. Sometimes these axles have to go in a certain way. But it actually, no, this side is longer, and it's got part of the bearing cage stuck on it. Like it, hell. <laughs> oh my god! You can see it was only rec fairly recently greased because you can still see the lithium grease is white. If it had been um, worn in properly, it'd be a grey colour or a black colour if it was getting old. So, yeah. Hmm, someone cheated and just greased them. Well, that wasn't a fucking cycle shop that decided to do that and rip someone off. Jesus, if you've got to do a repair, do the bastard properly. Right, I'll talk to you later. Oh dear, townsfolk are not happy. For the past year, the town council have left the uh, memorial park open at night. Whereas before, they always locked the gates at set times. Uh, but in that past year, there's been an increase in antisocial behaviour, drug abuse, uh, broken glass. Someone's even found human feces on there. Um, yeah, you name it, it's prob probably been done. Empty condom wrappers on children's play areas. Um, you know. But the town council is still refusing to lock the gate. Sir. Because there's four of them, four sets. Before this turns into an anti-police conversation, there aren't exactly loads of them, and I'm pretty sure that they didn't ask for the park to be unlocked, so they could have an extra workload. Well, it's funny, that. Because if there was a fight in town or something, the police would come crawling out of the fucking woodwork. There was... I've actually seen road traffic collisions where there, there's never any police around, but funny enough, just for, you know, a road traffic collision, you know, there's sort of like six, seven, eight police cars turn up.
yeah. Someone's just said about rubbish always on the ground in the skate park in town, but uh, the problem with that is the bins on the skate park are open top, which means the odd bit of wind and it's going to blow rubbish out anyway, so it won't be just people throwing it on the ground. I don't know. That's just a thread I've been reading. Oops, someone's messaged me. I'll read that in a minute. Right. I'm just waiting for Mum to phone. Uh, I've kicked my pants off because uh, I'm actually feeling rather bloody hot at the minute. It's so hot in here tonight for some reason. Hasn't been that warm outside. I'm guessing the flats below me have got their heating on full whack again. Right, my toolbox is packed and ready to go because uh, I've got an outlet to fit uh, tomorrow where the washing machine and dryer is. Uh, it's probably a 10 minute job. A couple of holes in the wall for screw holes, plug them, screw the back box up. Hopefully he got the back box. I'm going to ask Mum when she phone if he got the back box with it because I don't got one. Um, there's wiring out there. It's thick old extension lead flex but it'll do for that job. Because uh, as I've found out the only reason we use the um, flat cable here, the three core cable, you know, or twin and earth as we call it, is because it's cheap. So yeah, you could use adequate sized flexible cable if you wanted to, but it would cost you more. <laughs> and it is true, Roy's in town sell it pre-cut to um, certain lengths, and the, the um, actual electric cable for fixed installations is actually cheaper than flex <laughs> but uh, we've got that old extension reel there so we'll just I'll cut a length off of that and use that and uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it I'm actually thinking below the existing outlet uh, so that's gonna be fun should be no longer than a 15 minute job probably not even that I can't use any flat cable because I haven't got any 2.5 cable. I've got 1.5. I don't think I've got any 2.5 anyway. I will have I will double check, but like I said, 2.5 mil flex will work just as well. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Trying to keep the uh, camera off the window. <laughs> right. I came in here. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Well, I had cable for that socket down there when I did that. And I didn't use it all, but I don't know where the off cut is. Because if I could use the cable, I would. But as I can't find it, I can't. <laughs> But like I said, it's not a big deal. There's um, adequate flex over there I can use for that job. I suppose um, flat cable's also easier to thread in the small holes and things when you're wiring up houses. It might be the other reason why they use it. <clears throat> to be honest, I prefer working with the flat stuff. Definitely easier to get into... Um, the back box is like for that switch. <laughs> Trying to get thick old round flex in there isn't easy. What do I do with that? I really can't remember what I did with it. Oh well. Uh, yes, I've got my tools now. I did want to take my um, 
Vault Stick as well, but I can't find it. I can't find either of them. I've lost them both. Usually I keep them oh, in those drawers there with all my other electrical tools and things, but uh, I can't find it. I don't know where it's gone. Both of them, the yellow one and the orange one. For some reason I thought my yellow one was on here, but I've searched on here and I cannot... Oh, bloody hell. That's such a small toolbox, but that's certainly way something. Jesus. You know, I thought I had it up here, but... I can't miss it. It's a big yellow thing with a red end on it. Or a bright orange one. Now, I know the last time I was using the orange one at least, and the yellow one, was when I um, put that up because I had to locate where the cable was for that socket so I didn't uh, drill into the cable. That was really, really awkward to trace that up the wall. Don't think it's going to be in the kitchen. Um, I don't actually know. Oh, don't know where it is going to be. To be honest, because uh, <laughs> I don't actually know what circuit that socket is on. I think it's like a a random standalone socket that someone threw into the uh, extension when it was built. So uh, unless I just shut the whole power off to the house. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do anything. Otherwise, I need some way to uh, test that the power's off. Excuse me. Oh, there's another adjustable spanner. Why does I keep finding tools when I least expect to find tools? <laughs> ah. That's got to go back in my toolbox. I like using these, especially for getting wheels off bikes, because they're quite long, so I can get a, quite a lot of le leverage. Um, more so when I've got a stubborn wheel nut. Yeah, I thought a friend was going to pop up as... Uh, he was going to give me his uh, ISO of um, Windows 7. And then he decided he was going to drop it through as a link for me to download it um, put it on his OneDrive or something and I could download it but uh, no linky yet so I may just um, <laughs> give him a nudge or send him a message that says linky <laughs> right bought myself another box of antacids early because I ran out last night and stupid me ate lots of food with sauces and things, so I did have a heartburn. A heartburn? Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me, a bit windy. It's a shame he didn't come over, because I could have shown him my um, Windows 3.1 lappy top. He's on Windows 10 again as well. I don't know why. Upgraded to Windows 10, then went back to Windows 7, and then gone back to Windows 10. <laughs> it's not a bad operating system, it's just it's just like anything, it's just got a few glitches. It likes to glitch out every so often. Thankfully not too often. I had to change the cable I used to charge this because uh, I broke it yesterday. I stood on the end and completely squished it. Actually, I'm not sure if I stood on it or ran it over with my chair, one or the other. But uh, definitely was not usable afterwards. <laughs> a little bit on the flat side. And I thought if I try and wedge something in there to, you know, spread it open again, I'm going to probably break the internal plastic bit, the insulator. So I figured probably best just to, you know, how cheap they are and how easy they are to get, I might as well just get another one out of my drawer. Because so I have got several like that. Deliberately kept for that reason. It's not as long as the other one, but it does the job. 
I don't know where my volt stick is. If I had a little neon light bulb, you know the little things that glow orange, I could have thrown that onto a little plug, which I've done before. Plug that in, turn the sock on, the neon will glow. And when the neon goes off, I know that I've got the right breaker for it. Because uh, I've actually turned those breakers off before. I know they're wired up in a really fucking weird way. I don't always do what the stickers say. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's going to be fun and games trying to find the one to turn it off. I could use a neon screwdriver, but they're not recommended. I don't like using them either. Or I could take my multimeter and just stuff the prongs in the socket and wait until the voltage reads um, zero. <laughs> There's another way I could do it. Oh, I might have a neon, actually. Might. It's not in my box of bulbs. It might be in a box of bits through here. I don't know. I'll tip it out and I'll have a look. If I had a resistor, I could have done one with an LED. Straight from the mines. <laughs> Probably not recommended, but I could. I'm just going to tip this out and I'll have a look in a little while. I might have something in there. Um, right. I don't know where the bloody thing went. That can go back up here with the other PC game. One of them games, I've not played one of them yet. Actually, I've played a couple. Don't know why. Yeah, I, I complain I'm bored. Oh, I've just had an idea. I've just had a big idea. I've got this. It's a night light with a light sensor on it, but... If I stick some black tape over the light sensor, it should work. Alright, so yeah, it does still work. Tape, black tape, that's in the top of my toolbox. I'll pop you up here just for a second. I'm trying to go as quick as I can because I haven't got a lot of battery left and uh, I don't really want to charge it just to say goodbye. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick this bit of tape over the light sensor and hope this works. And I've got a, a device that I can uh, Yep, that's working. I'll just come out the light because my shadow triggered it. There we go. So I have somewhere I've got the lens cover for that. But yay! I have a power indicator now. That's what I could actually use that for. I wouldn't get used very often, but if I want to know when um, power goes off. So now when I start flicking breakers, I just watch for this to go off. And it's quite bright, so it's easy to see. Screwdriver there. So I can get the screwdriver in, get the tape in. Close it out. Close the lid on my finger. Oh, I'm smart. Right. No idea when Mum's planning to pick me up tomorrow. Right. That's it. There we go. I've got one indicator made with a <laughs> with an LED night light and a piece of black PVC tape. Redneck or what? Right. Uh, could take that. I have got to measure it anyway to see if there's a hundred foot there. No freaking idea. <laughs> no idea whatsoever. Um, but my cousin needs a hundred foot of cable for his pond to go from the house down to the pond. Yeah, that's quite a long way. But, uh, 
If he can make use of that cable, then he can have it. Obviously, if it's long enough, but guess who's got to wire it in? <laughs> well, I haven't got to, but guess who's going to? That's a drailer I've got to put on the giant. I was sort of looking at it and thinking, why is there a drailer on there? Or is it it's a Shimano Dior? Yep. Hey, the battery's going to die. I've got a few seconds left anyway. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow night, I hope. Bye.